came up with a concept for this for this Tron guy costume by going to a science fiction convention that also was a crossover to a computer convention. The internet brought the Tron guy to life by literally bringing him to life. <laughs> Hello, has the Tron party of two shown up? <laughs> Tell me why you love the movie Tron. Tron really caught my imagination, but I never really had any, any outlet for it. It struck me that Tron, being a science fiction movie about computers, would be the perfect uh, source to draw the inspiration from. It, it looks like a lot of spandex and then just some hockey equipment. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty good description. Well, I think you did a great job. The unitard was custom made and dyed. Uh, this color paint I picked because it, I thought it closely matched the color. These are football shoulder guards. This is formed PVC. This is electroluminescent wire that's threaded through holes. The helmet, you're right, it's a hockey helmet. This is the, the same hockey <laughs> Do you read what people write? I do, but I decided that in the end I was gonna have fun my way. If they didn't like it, that was their problem. Who's laughing now? Exactly. I'm sitting here talking to a guy on, on Comedy Central after all. A guy. <laughs> Are you ready to begin our training? Let's do it. Let's play some frisbee. It's an identity disc. Identity disc. Does Tron have any uh what? Big heads up! term. Well, boy, that was lousy, wasn't it? Whoops. <laughs> hey, good catch. Mm. Hey. Boy, that was useless. All right, enough of the identity disc. Let's uh, let's work on your cardio. Have you ever been on a Tron cycle? Nope. Are they fast? I'm not sure that fast holds any meaning in that universe. Ah. Uh. You know, when you, th when you start thinking about what goes on inside a computer and turning it into, into something that a, a human sucked into the machine could understand, uh, you have to anthropomorphize it. And <clears throat> left, <laughs> right, right. Come on. <laughs> Our idea for the web redemption, since you already have the suit, was to get you in the Tron world. How does that sound to you? That sounds fantastic. I hope you're up for the battle. I think I am. You look wonderful. You're in top physical condition. <laughs> the world wants to know. Are you ready to give it another shot? Let's do it. Good luck, and may the force be with you. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness, it works! Enjoy the ride, Tron guy! <laughs> I'll see him on the other side. Now that I've entered the machine, my powers have never been stronger. Not so fast, Tron guy. One more step and the girl gets it. Save me, Tron guy, save me! Let her go! First, you'll have to catch me. That's what you think. No! By the power of my user. I love you, Tron guy. My name is Ace Vellum. Yes, that is my real name. I had it legally changed in 2007. I'm 32 years old. I've been here in Portland, Oregon since 2003. I am a Jedi realist. I practice the philosophies that were first introduced in Star Wars. Right now, my fiance and I are living in our truck. A while back, our rent was raised. We both have jobs. Make decent money, but it's just too expensive to live in, in an apartment these days. Jediism is not about the magic trick. As part of my faith, I intentionally place myself in a position where I can help the most people at any given point in time. That's my Jedi mission. Three, 
Vikings. Are you in line for the new Star Wars movie? Yes, but I've also been known to crash on the streets from time to time. Oh, the late but come along, R2. I'm DT Pointo. This is my fiance, R2 Double D2. She is the droid I was looking for. Are you still homeless? No. No, actually, I'm renting a basement from some friends of mine. When did you convert to Jediism? Uh, in 2010, August 8th. Is it like Judaism? No, not really. What are uh, you doing, uh, like, on a day-to-day -day basis to make the world a better place? Try and be friendly to people. Uh -huh. Be kind, you know. You, you also try to clean the city up. Yeah, a little bit here and there when, when I get the chance. You ever think of adding on the end of a lightsaber one of those little pickup things? Actually, I have one of those. You've thought of everything. I don't know why I thought I could come up with something that you hadn't thought of. That, that one profile piece that I saw in you, uh, you were engaged and living out of your car. Are you guys married now? No, we, we split ways, decided we were much better friends than we were partners. But did you actually get married or no? No. Oh, no. all right, so you dodged that bullet. Yeah, I sure did. Good for you. You're, are you single right now or are you dating someone? No, I'm dating someone. Okay, let's just say you're single. How soon into dating do you say, by the way, I'm a Jedi? Day one. Okay. Can you become a Jedi without having any interest in Star Wars? Absolutely. Because I am, I'm not into them. Frankly, I find the plot to most of the Star Wars movies to be a little dry. Well, if George Lucas was here right now, what would you say to him? Thank goodness you're not in control anymore. Oh, what about that neck of his? Quite the waddle he's got. Is your opinion of him uh, universal amongst Jedis? No, some actually really like the prequels. I'm not one of them. Who's the most famous Jedi? Probably the guy I had drinks with last night, uh, Obi McLeod. You had drinks last night with Obi McLeod here in LA? Yeah, he lives here. Good one, guys. Let that one slip through the crack. Obi McLeod was right under our goddamn nose the whole time. You want to hear my Yoda impression? Sure. Yoda. Y Yoda. I. 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 What? <sighs> what? Something I should say is you. You should. Yota sounds v Yota and Yota sounds a lot like Miss Piggy. Aren't they voiced by the same person, Frank Oz? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking head exploded. Did you know that? God damn, this nerd shit is cool. <laughs> when did you lose your virginity? I was 13. Oh my god. That's way too young. Yeah, probably. That's <laughs> so young. Such a such a force you had. I'm jealous. I was so self-conscious about my, my penis. And then I also remember this guy in seventh grade <laughs> that had arguably the biggest dick I've ever seen. I, said, I can remember it clear as day. Just, he was a good friend, just the biggest dick. It was so long, it was just hanging there. And I just remember going, I can never let him see my penis. It was, mine was so small compared to his. I, oh, I bet it's huge today. All right, enough of this penis talk. I'm gonna pretend I don't have an itch in my eye. <laughs> I would have given you all of my money and converted right there if that would have went away. Can Jedis make love longer than most? Hard to say. I assume you're a selfless lover, or is that not the case? Yeah, no, that's totally the case. Do you always finish? Woo. I'm like batting a thousand lifetime. Of course, you know, after Hour three, sometimes it gets a little overly sensitive. All right. Hour three? Yeah. You make love for three hours. Sometimes. Of penetration? Usually. For three hours? Usually. That's so boring. I think I'm put my robe on too. It always gets so cold in the theater. I'm good. Oh, R2 Devil D2, keep it in your pants. Ace. I am your father. Good one. All right, night, father. Did fuck your mom last night. <laughs> what did you just say?
This parody is flawed. I mean, I enjoy seeing characters from the original trilogy, but I'm just not sure how the storyline fits into canon. C-3PO was never even programmed to use a lightsaber. I gotta go, my mom's here. That's not LARPing, those are furries. So you mean we're not gonna have sex? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. No disrespect. How old are you? Uh, I'm actually 35. Because when I watched the video, I thought a child was coming today. I've been doing it for 16 years, so. When you're there and you're in the world and you're surrounded by other people that are doing the same thing, seeing the same thing, it actually becomes real. You should try sex. I, I've had sex. Also, numerous a times. wonderful experience. <laughs> I completely agree with you. So you've been LARPing for 16 years. When I was in the Navy, I actually, yep. <laughs> I get that look a lot. <laughs> Not exactly what I want my boys to be doing over there, but all right. How much would you say you've spent in your entire 16-year career it. on LARPing? Over $10,000. Hmm. When people meet you, do they want you to kill them with a lightning bolt? We um, actually throw what's called spell packets. It's a it's a six by six square of um, of um, you don't have to, you don't have to tell me what it is, but the viewers <laughs> with um, birdseed in it. I was at a um, convention once, and and uh, these kids were out there like uh, wadding up napkins and throwing them at each other, going lightning bolt, lightning bolt. My buddy stops me. He's like, hey. You guys want to meet that guy? Oh my God, no way! Can you sign one? Can you sign one? I'm like, yeah, for five bucks. So I actually ended up signing <laughs> signing 11 of them. You charge these kids? <laughs> Absolutely. You're the Pete Rose of LARP. <laughs> Apparently. All right, I think the first thing we need to do is make sure that you are properly trained. Let's do it. I'm really excited for you to meet the Oracle, who happens to be Hollywood movie star Jackie Chan Jackie, I want you to meet Brandon. I'm not Jackie. He's not a wizard. Just teach me karate. I don't know karate. Oh, then why are you wearing a karate uniform? Because you told me to. Reach into your roots. I'm from Pennsylvania. Let's do it. Anyway, so for your final test, you must snatch this pebble from my hand and you will be ready. Ah, what the I think we're ready. I hate white people. Brandon, tonight, you are not only fighting for yourself, you are fighting for everyone who has ever lived in their parents' basement, who has ever been shoved in a locker, or forced to carry a trombone in the marching band, or act as if it was their religion that made them a virgin, for kids that had asthma. You send a message to all the beautiful people that as long as you wear the Tosh.0 crest, they can take your lunch money, but they will never take your freedom. Brendan, Middle Earth wants to know, are you ready to give another shot? Yes! Really? I'm out already? I painted my face blue.
Congratulations, you saved the world, you got the wench. What could be better? Let's go get lunch, I am starving. I see you met sugar tits. I did, I did. I've told a lot of people I eat, sleep, and breathe and shit. Mermaids, <laughs> mermaid, the whole life. It's, it's an everyday thing. Being a merman has taught me to just be free, not to care what anyone thinks. Be like the ocean. Just be free, follow your own current, love yourself. If you want to wear a tail, put on a tail and be a mer. If you feel it in your heart, no matter what anybody says, put that tail on and be a mer. I sure hope the fish are by today, old friend. Like Pop-Pop always said, you catch more fish with Beyonce tickets than you do with worms. Oh, we got a biter. Feels like a black one. I mean, a big one. Hey. God damn it. Sorry about that. I know club and a homosexual sea monster is considered hate fishing. It's all right, but whoever said fish can't feel pain was fucking lying. Hey, do you mind if I get a pick? No one's gonna believe I caught a merman. Yeah, knock yourself out. Thank you. First of all, I'm gonna start with a name, Blix. Uh-huh. But your, your birth name is Eric? Yeah, my but, human name is Eric. Now you say human, but sometimes you also call a uh, human. What else do you call human? Two-leggers. You're a two-legger right now. I'm a two- uh, some people have called me a three-legger. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, except, except for, for the, uh, the third leg is just tiny. Ah, oh, Like a damn. disease. That sucks. So, uh, two-leggers, and, and mm -hmm. then you, and what do you call yourself then? A merman. Do you believe in mermaids? Or is this just like a, like a fun thing to no, do? No, I think they're out there for real. Like, dead ass. How often are you a, not a two-legger in merman costume? Anytime I go to a pool, I try to wear a tail of I'm hired for an event or a birthday party or something. Well, who That's hires crazy. you for parties? Whoever finds me on the internet. So you're just like available, like just, mm -hmm. I'll just swim around in your pool? Yep. You talk to them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, splash people, you know, give them, give kids back rides. It seems a little demeaning to have my kids just ride on some stranger. <laughs> Well, it's a back ride. I hear you, you know. but if you wanted to be like a horse, well. and then you came over to my house and I just had you crawling around my floor, mm. I'd feel bad about that too. People do that though, but I don't think they do it for yeah, kids. Yeah, I think those are sexual things. Yeah, those are more sexual. Is there a sexual component to being a merman? There isn't, but there's a lot of merverts. Merverts. Mm -hmm. What do they do? They act like, ooh, can you slip the tail on slowly for me? Uh huh. Can you just hold your breath for a really long time and look like you're struggling? Like, oh, they want to see you like almost dying? Yeah, yeah, crazy. Do mermaids have genitalia? It depends on the mermaid. Well, how do they have sex? Some mermaids lay eggs, some- Some lay the... eggs? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, and well, then... some just rub on each other, you know. Yeah. It's. I guess it's not dry humping. Something like that. Oh. It's more of a wet humping. I miss those days. Yeah. <laughs> Do you only date mer people? Or are you willing to go outside your species yeah, and date a two-legger? I date two-leggers. You ever date a two-legger that doesn't really appreciate this world? No, because if they don't, then I'm not talking to them. But what if they're super hot? No. I mean, you don't turn a blind eye just for one night? No. I mean, it depends. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting a little dry. Thank you. Do your scales get ashy? No, they don't. Black don't crack, but uh -uh. do it prune? My hands do when I'm wet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> are there more are there more black mermaids or white mermaids? There's a lot of white mermaids. Yeah. Yeah. Not many black mermaids. There's not. There's a few, but it's not as much. What's mm -hmm. a tail like this cost, if you don't mind me asking? A few thousand. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Do you have a fly like, in that? How do you pee? I usually hold it in. Okay. Till I get a break. But when you're swimming, the whole point of swimming is to pee in a pool. But you don't want to pee in this though, cause it'll like mold. I, as a surfer, peeing in the suit is one of the few luxuries of the sport. That's nasty. No, it's not. It's warm. You feel it go over your uh, body. This already worn over with pee in it too. What do you eat? Uh, Chinese food. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's your favorite food? Uh -huh. What about sushi? I love sushi. Oh, as a merman, why would you eat fish? Why not? That's the, your, those are your friends. Not all of them. Ah, uh, where do you see your mer self in like 20 years? Oh, hopefully like in movies or something. You know, books and... You see yourself in books? Yeah. Are you gonna write the book? I can. Well, it's your dream. Do you and aquariums too. I wanna be aquarium performer. An aquarium performer mm -hmm. and you wanna be in books? Mm-hmm. This is quite the array of uh, goals in 20 yeah. years. Yeah. All right, okay, what are your thoughts on The Little Mermaid? I love Ariel, she's cool. What about Splash, did you ever see Splash? Yeah, Splash was good, I like Splash. If they remake Splash. They are, we're Channing Tatum. Okay, see, I was gonna say, why not remake Splash with, with, with black people only and call it... Blash? Blash? No? Mm -mm. You don't think it's good? Mm -mm. Ah. All right, I'm getting a little short of breath. I need to get back in this water, Daniel. No. Okay, you are gonna come home and live with me. Oh, you got a pool? Yes, of course. Today we are in Louisiana at the Ponies on the Delta Pony Play event. These events are very competitive. Just like a regular horse show event, we end up with some crashes and wrecks. People go down over the jumps. The competition gets pretty crazy sometimes. All of our outfits that we make are based off of bio horse equipment or made out of bio horse equipment that's been rearranged to fit humans and can get very costly. People are very proud of their outfits they put together. Oh boy, my newest thoroughbred is here. I've been dying to mount this one, boss. Well then lose 20 pounds, you fat Here you go, here you go, okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Easy boy, easy boy, easy boy, here's the Here you go, there you go, yeah? Joey Warhorse, it is an honor to be in the same stable as you. Glad to be here. That's a real nice coat you got there. You mind? Yeah. Now, how often do I need to brush you? Oh, daily. Okay, but how long do you do it? Well, until I'm clean. <laughs> Tell me the origin story of Joey Warhorse. Well, I represent a male horse. Uh-huh. Joey, in case anyone doesn't know, comes from the movie Warhorse which is where I took the movie from. How long ago did you start dressing up like a horse? I started in 2012. I just decided I wanted to put on some of the gear and found out, hey, it kind of turned me on. Turned you on sexually or just enjoyed it? Well, both. Are you turned on right now? No, I'm not. When I put my horse gear on, you go into what you call pony space. Uh huh. I've done this to where I was actually hooked to a cart and in pony gear for 14 hours straight. That seems like a hate crime. Actually, I enjoyed it. I, I mean, I think that's what you have to look at with a lot of hate crimes, and is does the person enjoy it? <laughs> Where are my manners? Can I offer you a salt lick? Sure. <laughs> you didn't get a good lick. There you go. How is she? Salty. <laughs> How many people are there, just say, uh, in the continental US? There's probably three or four hundred. Okay, so it's enormous. There, there's an event here in LA that goes on every year in August. On these conventions, is it sexual? Do people get aroused putting their stuff on? Yeah, some do, but that's not what the event's all about. Not saying that don't happen in, at night and evenings. So when the sun goes down, the pony boners come out. Yeah. How fast could you get your Johnson out if you needed to? Quick enough to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh, or? Or whatever needs to happen. That was a good answer. You know the drill. Oh, sugar cubes. There you go. Get them all. 
Are you into male horses or female horses, may I ask? Females. Okay. Do you have children? No, I'm not even married. No? You ever been married? No. A lucky man. Yep. I tell you what, my marriage is the worst decision I've ever made. <laughs> now, I see you have a tail. How's that attached? Butt plug? No. Okay. Uh, that is done, but I don't care for no butt plugs. What about the uh, bite? The, the bit? The, the bit. bit. Did you know it's champing at the bit, not chomping at the bit? No, it's chomping at the bit. No, no, no. The expression is champing at the bit. No, it's chomping at the bit. No, 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 you're wrong. Everyone thinks it's chomping at the bit, but the expression is champing at the bit. No, it's actually chomping at the bit. Yeah, <laughs> champing at the bit. No, chomping. You're not gonna give me this, are you? Nope, it's chomping at the bit. You chomp on a bit. That makes sense, but it's champing at the bit. Nope. Oh, I don't mean to embarrass you, but it looks like you shit yourself. Oh my God, did I do that? Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it, it's part of the gig. Gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, shit. Ugh. Not just an owner. How many hands tall are you? Probably right around four hands. Four hands. I don't really understand that increment of measurement. Could you tell me what it is? Sure, when you measure someone's hand sideways, it's about four inches. So you're only four hands tall? That's only this tall. Yeah, no, I got that wrong. Let me see. Wow, I don't got a brain fart. We will just do the math. If it's four inches, three hands is a foot. Yeah. So then you're 18 hands tall at six feet. I don't screw that up real good. My horses are right at five hands. No, I'm sorry. No, I got God damn it. it. No, hey, no, no, no. You got these tiny yeah, miniature horses. Now we're talking about miniature that's a dog. Horses. No, no, okay. I got it. No, it's 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 14, 14 and a half hands. I knew a guy who used to work here uh, that used to drink horse semen. That's sick. He mixes it with iced tea. Some weird that's, Arnold Palmer. Yeah, that's weird. What's one thing we would be surprised to learn about you? Well, that I'm basically a normal, everyday person, other than when I do my pony play. Are there any bodies buried in your backyard? Oh, no. Well, see, that's surprising. <laughs> How many of your friends have you had to put down because they twisted an ankle? Luckily, none. We didn't have to send no one to the glue factory yet. They don't make glue from horses anymore, do they? No, no. Did they ever? Supposedly, that, that, that's been the word, yeah. It's supposedly. Yeah, supposedly, okay. Okay. Champing at the bit. No. S supposedly. Supposedly, I'll give you. Chomping at the bit, I won't. <laughs> All right, enough chit chat. I think you're ready for the greatest two minutes in sports. The Kentucky Derby? Close. Ace hardware. Now, let's get you cleaned up. Oh. All right. My God, look at this magnificent steed. Oh, here comes your first customer. Up on up! Uh, where do I put the quarter in? Where do you think you put it in? Oh, you maniac! The saddlebag. <laughs> Pretty sure this breed of horse isn't allowed within 500 feet of a child. I'm not gonna waste a quarter. I respect that. 